When you think of Rec Room's deleted or removed items, you're probably either thinking of well-known items like the Helix VR shirt and the first anniversary shirt, or you think of depreciated items such as the ice hockey shirt and the poofy dress. However, you can still technically access all of these items. They're still in the game, though are usually worn by older players, or if they were never released or removed from everyone who had it, then either staff members or hackers. However, I recently found a video from October of 2016 that showcases old items, including items that are no longer in the game whatsoever. And in this video, I will be showing you and talking about these items as well as decide whether they deserve to get removed or if Rookum should bring these back. Starting with one of my personal favorite deleted items, this pink flower. This flower was a pink recolor of these flower items, which currently have three recolors to begin with, each of them being priced at 700 tokens. And in my opinion, if this pink version of the flower was still in the game, it would definitely have a chance to become one of the most popular items in Rec Room. They should 100% bring this back. I know a lot of people would love to wear it, including myself. Next, let's talk about an item that's kind of weird in my opinion. This visor. Just let me explain. Back in old Rec Room, a lot of stuff wasn't fully textured or modeled yet, so they instead settled on these weird orange models. And while it might not have been on purpose, this visor definitely looks like it just had a default texture slapped right on it. As of right now, we have two versions of the visor out. One of them was just recently released for 3,500 tokens, while the other one is only 500 tokens. We definitely don't need this weird textureless version of the visor though, this definitely needs to be kept gone. Something that did have a texture though was the baby doll dress with plaid. We currently have six recolors of the baby doll dress, all of which are only 200 tokens, however none of them have any patterns or anything, they're just plain recolors compared to this plaid version. So while we do already have a lot of recolors of this dress, this deleted plaid version is pretty unique in my opinion compared to the other one. So I I would be fine with bringing it back. Something else that is unique is this tie, which is completely different compared to the ties we have today. You see, we have a lot of ties in the game right now, around 10 to be exact, and they all look pretty neat. But this removed one has a completely different model with it looking more messy and it's the only removed item on this list to have an entirely different model. Either way though, it's really not that interesting, so unless they decide to just change the texture or something as well, there's no point in bringing it back so just keep it gone. Something that is interesting, however, is this purple version of the fur coat. Right now, we only have three versions of the fur coat, and it's a pretty forgettable item with it being around 800 tokens as well as being four stars. In my opinion, Reckham could definitely bring this version of the fur coat back if they decided to recolor the brown fur part since it kind of looks weird with the purple. Another item that looks weird is this black and white striped cap. We currently have a ton of caps in the game, some of which being free and others you have to pay for. We already have both a black and white cap in Rec Room, and honestly, I don't see any reason why this item should exist in the first place, so I think we should just keep it gone. Something that shouldn't be kept gone, though, is supporting me in Rec Room by going to my profile at Werewolf and pressing the big support button. I'm sorry I had to. Anyways, next up is another one of my favorite items, this purple and white flower crown. Right now, we currently have four flower crowns, three of which are 750 tokens, and one of them is a rainbow flower crown that I don't remember the price for, I'm sorry. These flower crowns are honestly one of my favorite items in general, and I would absolutely love to see more recolors for this, so I think we should definitely bring back this purple and white version. There are two items, however, that already have a ton of recolors, and they are the dark red wrist and headbands. Right now, we have a lot of headbands, all of which being free, and a lot more wristbands, most of which being free. However, we already have enough wristbands and headbands, so in my opinion, we should keep it that way. We don't really need any more. There is an item with a removed recolor, however, that I do think we need more recolors of. The long pink coat. Right now, we have five recolors of the long coat, all of which being thrown into tokens, and you're probably thinking right now, hey, isn't this purple coat the exact same as this removed pink coat? Well, while they are both similar colors, they aren't the same color, and if you still don't believe me, this color 
color on the pink coat is different compared to the purple version. In my opinion, I think if they made the pink a little brighter, they could easily put this back in the game, but I would be fine with it as is as well. There's actually a few removed items on this list that are very similar to other cosmetics in Rec Room, one of which being this slim blazer. And honestly, I debated putting this item on the list because we do already have three slim blazers in the game, all of which are free, and one of them looking basically identical to this removed version. But if I put these side by side, you will notice that the removed version has this strange pattern on it, while the other three versions that are in the game don't. And before you say anything, here's a close-up of the in-game shirt. You can clearly see that the pattern just isn't there. Either way though, I personally like the versions without the patterns better, so I think we should just keep this weird pattern version gone. There's no reason for it to exist. Something else that's pretty weird is this button top. Just let me explain. Right now, there are currently four button top recolors, all of which being free, and this recolor looks very similar to the removed item. Except when you put them side by side, you can very clearly see they are different because the color is different. Yeah, this one's a no-brainer, keep it gone. Something that isn't a no-brainer, however, is this version of the cloche hat. Right now, there are five recolors of the cloche hat, each of them costing you 300 tokens. I do really like the colors of the deleted version, so I would be fine with bringing it back, especially since the cloche hat isn't that popular, even with it being as cheap as it is. Speaking of cheap items, the next deleted item are these light blue bike gloves. And once again, we run into the problem of these being similar to another item that's already in the game. You see, there are currently four recolors of the bike gloves, these recolors being 250 tokens, and this version of the bike gloves are extremely similar to the deleted version. This one's a tough one because if you put them side by side, they are very clearly different colors. However, in my opinion, these two items are very similar, similar enough that there's no reason to bring back the deleted version. And if you think that the bike gloves were the worst case of items being similar, then you have haven't seen this version of the flower swimsuit. Right now, there are currently four recolors of the flower swimsuit, all of which being 700 tokens each. And this version, once again, looks very similar to the deleted version, but trust me, it's not the same item. If you put them side by side, the flowers on the deleted version have different colors compared to the newer version. You already know what I'm about to say, there's no reason for both of these items to coexist at the same time, keep the deleted version gone. An item that could coexist with the other recolors, however, is this version of the stole dress. We currently have four recolors of the stole dress, all of them being free since everyone has them unlocked right away when you start the game. And while there is a recolor of the stole dress that has similar colors to the deleted version, as you can see when I put them side by side, they aren't the same dress. In my opinion, I think this deleted version is different enough that it could coexist with the other recolors, so I think it should be brought back. And if you thought we were done with the similar looking items, then say hello to this red and white flower dress. Right now, the versions we have of the flower dress are 700 tokens each, and there are three of them, one of them looking pretty much identical to the deleted version. And just like with the flower swimsuit, if we put these items side by side, you will see that the flowers have different colors, not again. While I do like the deleted version's red and white color scheme better than this red, orange, and white colors the other version has, once again, I don't think these items can coexist together, so I think we should just keep the deleted version gone. This next item however, doesn't look similar to anything we have in game, that being this yellow brim hat with purple dots. Right now, we have a few recolors of the brim hat, including four recolors that are 150 tokens each, the mini droid hat, which is around 2,000 tokens, and the alu bucket hat, which you can't get anymore. However, none of them look like this deleted version of the brim hat, with it having purple dots as well as a color scheme that none of the other hats have. While I do see why it was removed since it looks so weird, it is honestly pretty unique so I would be fine with bringing it back, though I doubt that it would ever be popular. And if you enjoyed this video then please make sure to subscribe as well as check out this video where I make Roblox faces in Rec Room.